Hello everybody, it's Dev, the Modernist Colourist. How is everyone? Sorry I'm a few minutes late guys. I um, had to get everything uh, on the on the link list and it took quite a while. So I'll just uh, quickly uh, say hello to everybody. Hello Morticia, thank you as always. Hello Rochelle and Nana Mo and Jane and Hilary and Jade. Welcome everybody. Uh, it's really nice of you to uh, join me. Hi David. Hi Joy. Hello Lillian. I hope everybody's okay. Um, I'm on a bit earlier today. I've um, hello Gary and Nicole and Pat and Sonia. Hello. Uh, long time no speak, Sonia. <laughs> um, yes, I. Um, I've got a lot to get through today, and uh, hello, Wendy. And obviously, I just wanted to um, expand the show. Uh, but just while you're on, I am now going to be doing a four-hour show anyway on a Sunday. So I've taken the um, the two hours spare before my uh, stream. So I'll be doing three till seven from now on, um, or half past three till seven, one of the two. Um, I've spoken to uh, April about that, and... Uh, Yes, Grace, um, and it's all happy mail, and it's absolutely beyond uh, beyond comprehension, really. Hello, Michelle. How are you, Grace? Okay. Nice of you to join. Yeah, I, I, it's because, Morticia, I, I, I never get any... By the time I've done all the reviews and the thank yous and the competition stuff, I've never got any time to do any colouring, so uh, I thought, well, I might as well do it on a Sunday um, and add to my existing show rather than pick another one because the only day I know I'm not working is Sunday. So uh, obviously, with Naya coming out of Sundays, it's kind of uh, it's kind of inspired me to uh, to just pinch another two hours. Hello, Caroline. Oh, did you, Grace? I'll have to catch up. I've I've been uh, so busy this week. It's been uh, it's been a long, long uh, week. I'll tell you. <clears throat> Let the devabling begin. That's right, Wendy. <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, thank you, Grace. That's lovely of you to say. Uh, so, um, the the. Uh, the premise today, guys, is to um, get through uh, the happy mail. Um, I have spoken to each individual person, um, and they've all agreed that I can uh, just thank them at the end, uh, as it's very confusing to who's got what and et cetera, et cetera. Hello, Katie. So the people I'd like to thank are Brenda, Natalie, Rosamond, and a channel that wants to remain anonymous. So those are those. And then also I'd like to thank, while I've got on, uh, while we're all here, uh, I'd like to th thank you, Michelle. I look forward to you joining us. Uh, I'd like to thank Nana Moore, um, who has sent me some Star Wars books um, that she picked up at a, uh, a local uh, charity shop, I think. Uh, very rare Star Wars books. Um, and it was really, really nice uh, to have uh, Nana think of me in that way. Plus, she's been a really good friend to me in the last week or so. Uh, so um, it's been really, really good to uh, to have Nana Mo at the end of uh, end of a message, uh, and she did say I could thank her for those things. I know that, Morticia. That's fine. Hello, Brenda. I hope you're all well. Hello, Angela. Uh, I said hello to you, Gary. Yeah, I'm going to show one of them, David um it's it's more of a comic book um uh, but it's it's based on the art that i do like the comic art um and i've also um i'm gonna show uh harry from um what's his channel called sorry i've just uh lost my train of thought there uh the art gear guide uh he's also a big uh, star wars fan as i am so uh, i'm gonna show him as well but i'll just briefly go through it today because I know that not everybody likes uh, Star Wars. 
so how is everyone i hope uh, i hope everyone's well <laughs> i hope everybody is um i think she went for a cup of tea so i might have to rethank her when she comes back yeah me too david yeah i, I i've been collecting them a long time um you know when i do the studio tour uh in a few weeks i'll be able to uh show the the full collection i won't go through them all but obviously i'll be able to show you what i've uh picked up over the years uh, collecting sort of Star Wars stuff. I'm sorry about that, uh, Morticia, but you, you know my feelings on yourself, so um, I'm just glad that you're here. And may the Force be with you, Gary, too. Um, and may the Fourth be with you soon. Uh, that's going to be a good day for us all. Hello, Nicole. Nice of you to pop in. Uh, it's nice to see all the familiar faces. Have you not, Hillary? Um, it's, I guess, obviously, I, I'm in that generation of, of the uh, hi, Nana. I've just been thanking you out loud for. Uh, Obviously, thinking of me with the uh, Star Wars comic, which I'm going to show later, and um, I've just also said how, how much of a good friend you've been to me lately. So uh, I just want to make that people aware of, uh, you know, uh, your friendship and how valued it is. So thank you, Nana. Hello, Deb. Thank you, Nana. How are you, Deb? Okay. Hello, Randy. Yeah, I, I hope you're better, Randy, uh, if you've had health issues. Sorry to hear that. No, it's one of those things, Hillary, you know, um, like I say, I was in that generation when the first sort of trilogy came out, uh, and it was the big thing at the, in those days. Hello, Anne. I hope you're okay. Nice to see you. How are you enjoying your fine colour book, Anne? So we've got plenty of time today now, guys, so I'm not rushing. You know, if we finish early, we finish early, but uh, oh, I'm glad you like it, Anne. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where um, you, the only commitment I can really give 100% to the channel is is a Sunday um, and most Tuesdays, uh, which, which we do stream on a Tuesday evening. So I've just added it on, that's all. Uh, and, you know, people are free to come and go as they please, but at least people can uh, watch me back or or that kind of thing so i've had so many requests for videos hi tracy yeah she is she's a she's a belting friend and uh, i mean that from the bottom of my heart she's a lovely person and there is my next best friend hello how are you mary uh, Mary's got me some Star Wars memorabilia as well. And I'm also going to show that on the stream. Um, if there are any trolls, Tracy, uh, I've got Morticia um, who will zap them and give them uh, <laughs> give, give them some mort violence. <laughs> She'll get them all out of here, don't you worry. Um, hello, Roman. So Mary uh, is City Rose 83. Um, Mary is uh, an absolutely uh, very close friend of mine uh, and also has been a good friend to me lately. Um, I'm not going to go into the what's and wherefores about it all. It's uh, it's going to be a pleasant stream, this. It's, there's going to be no, uh, no down talk here. Um, but credit's where credit's due. And, and obviously, Nana Mo and um, Mary, and also Shannon, wherever she is. Um, she'll probably be in later. Um, Shannon also has been absolutely fantastic in, in a very difficult time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know that, Morticia. <laughs> I'll delete every post where they are named by the T word. Oh. 
All right, yes, yes, I'm, I'm with you. Tracy, just for your information, that's nothing personal to you. Um, it's just that they have uh, robots that can pick up the word, what we've just said, T-R-O-L-L. And, um, and I think that that's how they pick up on the stream. So that's why she's deleted it. Nothing personal to you, hon. And Anne, you went shopping yesterday and you brought spare polychromos and lots of other little bits. Well, how funny is that? <clears throat> it's never a bad day if you're bringing polychromos home, is it? <laughs> you know, I mean, let's face it, guys. Um, yes, uh, Mary, um, you know my feelings anyway, so that, that's, you know, that's, that's between us. Yeah, <laughs> nice one, Tracy. I don't know how they do it. They've got some sort of copy software. That, that That's why I've stopped putting live in the uh, in the title. Uh, hello, Cynthia. Oh, you went to Hobbycraft, did you, Anne? Okay. Uh, I've been there once. I went to the one near London. Uh, it was a massive place. Hello, Pamela. Hey, Pickle. Talking of good people, here's another one. Hello, Pickle. And you're finally ordering some pan pastels, are you, Michelle? That's excellent. Uh, <clears throat> okay, guys. So I'm going to crack on. Uh, we've got over 50 in already. So, you know, it's just a case of now uh, people will come, people will go, etc., etc. Uh, but it's all there to watch back if necessary. Okay, guys, so the, the first thing I want to show you um, is, um, like I said, this, this before I go any further, this happy mail is from Brenda, Natalie, Rosamond, and the channel who doesn't want to be named. Uh, there's also separate gifts, which I've already mentioned, uh, from Nana Mo and from Mary. Um, so I'm not going to individualize each uh, item to each person because it was quite confusing when they all came so um but other than that uh you know uh we're going to go through them one by one so the first thing i want to show you is this uh love colored pencils uh book which was gifted <laughs> this is an interactive join the book journal uh and I, I think it's absolutely awesome uh it's by vivian wong hello Henkandno, greetings. I uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, no problem, Pickle. So, uh, as usual, guys, I've got an extensive list in the uh, description of all the uh, stuff, well, most of the stuff, anyway, that, that that's uh, been mentioned today. So, this is a... Uh, it's a kind of coloring book, but it's also a lesson and um, and journal thing all in one go. So, for instance, you open the book, uh, you get introduced to the uh, the author, which is Vivian Wong, um, and she's always right. Is Vivian Wong? She's never wrong in Vivian Wong. So, <laughs> um. <clears throat> So obviously it's, it shows a picture of Vivian here uh, and then we move on to some of her artwork and then we get to chapter one. Uh, chapter one is tools and techniques and um, she talks about uh, colored pencils and tools and materials, sharpeners, all her recommendations. She also talks about strokes on the paper and holding your pencil and then this is what I like about the interactive side of the book is that you can obviously copy the styles here that's on this side let me bring it into view a bit better so you've got the the normal uh, the perpendicular you've got the sideways finger and then you've got the further back kind of grip uh, and these can all be transferred across here to practice and that's pretty much the format of the whole book in so much that we go from section to section topic to topic and you're able to um, to to copy all these kind of uh, methods and techniques. So we've got blending, um, we've got go to colors, we've got color mixing charts, 
and it is such a packed book. Um, you've got all these pencils to colour in with different mixes, and then you've got the colour wheel, uh, what is a tone, explaining tones, and underpainting and that kind of thing. Thank you, Brenda. That's lovely. Uh, that's a lovely comment. And also, Henkad, no, that's that's fantastic to hear. Thank you. Um, so it's basically telling you how to colour now, and we've moved on to eyes, and then you've got all this try it for yourself stuff. Um, you've got the noses and so on and so on. So you you get the gist, guys. You're going from the very very basics right up through the uh, the methods. Uh, it's talking about lips with teeth. It's talking about shades and colours of mouths, open, closed, that kind of thing. You've even got something here where they're just biting the lip, which I think is, uh, you know, an absolutely fantastic. You know, there's no stone unturned here. Um, then we go on to skin tones. Uh, we go on to darker skin tones, hair. So... It's an action-packed book that, you know, by the end, you'll have covered near enough everything. Fur's on here as well. So what an absolutely beautiful gift and a beautiful book. It's very, very well made. It's um, It's got a lovely uh, soft cover. Um, the publisher is quartonose.com, uh, Quarry Books. It's very nice, Pat. Um, and yeah, it was a bit a bit sassy, wasn't it? Pickle, like you know. Um, so, and this is uh, Vivian again. Uh, she's a Hong Kong based artist. <laughs> she's studying architecture at Edinburgh University. Uh, so she's local to us in the UK, um, and she's been doing drawing and art lessons ever since she was five. Um, so she's really developed herself and, and brought up uh, brought out a really nice book uh, for people to um, get on board with you know if you don't like watching tutorial videos which i don't really um you know it just goes on and on doesn't it uh, this is a stop and start kind of method you can put it away bring it back anytime you want and um you've kind of got everything here all reference for you hello sandy so that's the first one i want to show you guys it is a beautiful book, um, really, really uh, well thought out. And um, thank you very much um, to the person who got me that. So the next one is uh, an artist that I've just come across myself. Uh, and this is uh, an artist called Leslie Smitheringale, uh, which is a very, very English uh, sounding name. Um, now, Leslie is, let me just, these are, uh, the production companies are by coloringandtangling.com. It's got 25 single-sided pages in here, uh, including eight bookmarks that you can cut out and make yourself as gifts. Now, the reason why I particularly picked up on um, Oh, thank you, Jude. Uh, nice, nice of you to drop in. Thank you. Um, the reason why I picked up on uh, Leslie Smitheringale is that it was the name more than anything, because it's a really old-fashioned English name. Um, but where will you see the artwork? There's a lot in here about uh, the fairies of Water Lily Woods. It's almost, it's almost got its own kind of story. Um, to this to this place so you can see that a lot of time and efforts being made you know to to um to immerse all this story into, into the images um and this is the grayscale version yes wendy so you open the book uh, the first page is the book belongs to page which is this lovely little circular image here um in grayscale um you've got a little fairy stood on a toadstool and kind of welcoming gracefully everybody to the book. Then we have this image here with the dew, dot, dew drops on the leaves uh, in very old fashioned Victorian clothing. 
which is a gorgeous image. And that's a close up of the previous, I do believe. Uh, then you've got a couple of kids playing in the uh, in the in the sea or a pond. I think it's the sea with the cliffs here. And you've got a fish in the water. And then it all gets kind of cute now. You've got all this lily pads. You've got the fairy, the witch, um, the tree with the fruit on. Um, and, it, and you've got a boot here, boot house even. So you've got all these really, really cute um, images. Yeah, it's it's nice, Gary. Uh, this one in particular is a nice image. All the strands of hair have been kind of uh, individualized for you to get that. Uh, blend into different colors should you want to do it that way rather than a big chunk and then you've got a close-up of that one there as well you've got a mermaid and a close-up of the mermaid so as you can see guys the, it's beautiful artwork and um, you know on here you've got such such a nice um, collection of images um, that you can colour. So as you can see, it's a really, really nice book. And um, there we go. And then you've got the the bookmarks at the back, as we said. Um, so you've got four on that page. And I think there's four on that page. So all in all, uh, a very inexpensive book, um, but one that I would... Um, Really, really enjoy to colour. The paper is 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 really nice. It's it's not um, it's not Amazon. Oh, it is actually. I do apologise. It doesn't feel like Create Space. It's quite um, toothier. Hello, Leone. Not a problem, Leone. Not a problem. So it's it's got um, a kind of tooth to it, and it's it's I would say it's thicker than the normal Create Space. So that's uh, Leslie Smitheringale and the Fairies of Waterlily Woods. Uh, I thought that was a really good find. Um, so I wanted to show you that one. So um, I've just got the one mod at the moment um, until probably five o'clock till the rest of my mods come and join me. Um, is there anybody in particular that would uh, want to um, be a mod for me for a while? Um, not permanently if you don't want, um, but obviously Morticia's got quite a bit on her hands at the moment with 60 of you in here. Hello, Becky. How would you feel about it, uh, Gary? Yeah, I, not a problem. I thought so, uh, Morticia. Gary, would you be a mod for me, please, uh, for a while? Or oh, Nana, would you do it? You couldn't do that, Gary. Not a problem. No problem. Okay, not a problem, mate. No a problem at all. Just bear with me. Thanks, Grace. Thank you, Grace. And thanks, Becky. Sorry, I'd, obviously, we just don't want to move you. So, yeah, but thank you, Becky, as well. Um, no, I know that that's what it was, Gary. I knew that there was nothing personal. It's fine. It really is. I just thought I'd ask because obviously I speak to you off stream as well. So not a problem, mate. Okay, guys, uh, we'll just take a short break, not from the stream, but we'll take a short break from reviewing um, books for the minute because I want to show you um, this Colour in Heaven collection monthly, which is going to be the giveaway prize for today. Um and this is the Colour in Heaven collection, Cats. So this is brand new. Uh, it's one of the ones that I said I would get um, to give away, and I have done. Um, 
No, it's fine, Gary. Honestly, mate, uh, I, I understand that you, you know, it's if you don't know what you're doing and, you know, it. it can... Okay, so this is uh, a cat's one, um, which I did tell you about. Not a problem, Nana. It really isn't. I understand. Uh, thank you, Becky. Thank you very much. Yeah, if, if you could um, give me a big thumbs up uh guys that would really help my channel um you know i i plan i've got a lot planned for the channel in the next 12 months and uh to to move forward obviously the the thumbs do count whether they're up or down it doesn't bother me uh but you know if you can add me a thumb that's all the better so this is uh it's not my kind of uh thing i would normally purchase in fact, Becky, can I just add you as a mod really quickly? Um, thank you, Becky. I've got three now, just to be on the safe side. Thanks a lot, Becky. I appreciate your help. Um, so it's it's 48 actually perfect designs, which is a bit cheesy. Um, it's from Jess Erskine, uh, Sayo Karami, and Meg Takak. To cack. I know you do, Anne. Thank you. So uh, it's one of these specials. These these ones that the it's not a, a, an issue number as normal. Um, it's in the same format, of course, but obviously it's capped. Um, you have the um, little introductions at the beginning here, which um, thank you, Grace, uh, which just kind of tells you about each artist that I've mentioned on the front cover. So the first one is Jess Erskine. Uh, she is a comic creator, illustrator, and she's from Southern Tech, Kentucky in the United States. And in 2016, she founded Rolling Donut Press, which currently has 15 titles for sale on Amazon. Uh, and I have actually heard of Rolling Donut Press, so that was something I didn't know. Uh, you can also find her um, on Instagram at Crunchy Bunny Comics. Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. And then Sayo Karame uh, is also an illustrator who lives in uh, Ishikawa in Japan, uh, working with a thin pen. Her drawings express uh, a minute, original world in black and white. Uh, she's known for scratch art as well. Uh, so she's an up-and-coming artist. And then finally, Meg Takak. Uh, is a children's book illustrator and a graphic designer. Uh, she works from her home in the uh, Czech Republic as a freelance artist, and her hobby are cats. So that's why they're all here. So images 1 to 24 are by Jess Erskine. Um, we start off with this cat on a, on a pile of pans. I, I am not going to go through every image, guys, because, like I say, this, I don't want to spoil the book also because I'm going to give this away in about two minutes. So um, for those people who, who can't get these, these are the scratch kind of grayscale images by Sayo Karame that we just obviously mentioned and touched upon. Um, and she's got quite a, a, a unique kind of style. I don't know if you agree. Um, you know, she's very kind of... Um, intricate with with the lineage um but quite clearly is is a massive cats fan uh so if if you do like cats i mean this is right up your street um so we'll move on to the final artist which is meg takak takak it's t-a-k-a-c so it's takak that's that's what we're calling her takak um, so hers are, hers are a lot more whimsical, as you can see. Uh, very cartoonified, very, very cute as well. Uh, and the added bonus, really, I suppose, is that there are humans in the images as well. Um, so this is Meg's work. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's one that uh, I wasn't going to get, but then I remember saying in the stream that I would get it so that somebody could have a chance of uh, of winning it. 
Um, and like I said, they're very easily got by me. Uh, I, I literally, I'm half a mile away from a huge supermarket who sell loads of them. So I never really uh, miss out on any of these. So it's nice to be able to uh, to be able to share that, especially with people who can't get hold of it. Uh, it is, it's a nice book. You know, it, the, we all know that the colouring heavens are quite well made. The paper's good. Uh, they're all one-sided and, you know, from experience, I, I can't imagine these being any different to any other any other books that uh, Colour in Heaven bring out. <clears throat> um, so at the end of the stream, guys, I'm going to give that away. Um, or shall I do it now? What do you think? We've got 61 in. Uh, obviously, that's really, really good to say that I wasn't supposed to be on for another hour yet. Do it? Okay. Pickle, you want it, do you? <laughs> Is there anybody in particular, apart from uh, Pickle, rather than do a competition, that really, that would really like this book? Or can I just give it Pickle? Anyone? Yeah, I think so, Nana. Dev, me, Shaleen and Kate are doing Colour in Heaven this month. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, that's cool then. There's a lot of unanimous giving it to Pickles. Uh, I'm sorry about that, Brenda. Um, if you email me after, Brenda, um, I will get you a copy and I'll send you one. Um, if you email me at Dev Wilcox at gmail.com which is on the um on about me page tab should i say um then i'll make sure that you get one as well uh like i say i'll be able to thank you mort so pickle this is yours my darling um it was everybody in the stream wanted you to have it um and knowing you as i do um this is now yours pickle so drop us um Drop us an Insta or something uh, with your address on and I'll get it sent out to you this week. So I hope you're happy with that. Okay, guys. <coughs> so, um, as I mentioned earlier with Mary, uh, Mary's uh, a really good friend of mine and she sent me some incredible, incredible colouring books. Now... I haven't put links in for these because you can't buy them. These are original Kenner Star Wars books from 1983. Um, as you will see by the uh, the colour of the paper when I uh, take them out of here. Hello, Hilda. Yeah, we can see pickle-eyed cats. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. That's, that's, that's great. So... These are replicas. These here are replicas of the backing cards that you used to have the figures on. When you put, hello, Kim. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you're, um, is Becky still here? Oh, she's being called away on a message. Let's have a look. You've no need to cry, Brenda. I, I, I know that you wanted it too, so it, it's more than okay. It's more, it's more than fine, honestly. Uh, is Becky still here? Becky, are you there? No. She's been summoned away, no doubt. Right. Um, so anyway, these are replicas of the backing cards that the figures used to come on. Slightly smaller, of course. Um, but hello, Linda. But these are replicas. Uh, sorry, these are not replicas. These are original. I don't know if you can see if I bring it up to the camera. 1983 Lucasfilm Kenner products. Um, thank you, Hillary. And um, these... 
these are not going to be colored in, i'm afraid but these are to be cherished and they will be by me um these came out in 83 and um the the, the condition of this is absolutely phenomenal um so the the money spent by mary on this is absolutely fantastic um it's so so thoughtful i'm, I'm gonna do jane uh these are breathable packaging with a a piece of card to um to keep them straight um but i'll show you the discoloration of the cut of the i don't want to uh damage the spine or anything but as you can see by the discoloration of the originals uh they're brand new but obviously that's 30 years 30 36 years ago um you know that these came out um and they they what an absolute just such a nice gift uh this is a, a this is what they call size noodles here and that's the rebo band um that go with it so this is the original original return of the jedi coloring book from 1983 and um like i said i this isn't going to get colored in uh this is going to be kept and treasured for the rest of my life um yeah that's a good idea joy actually thank you for that i never thought of that so i can replicate onto good paper i suppose uh so that i can color the images and keep the original intact thank you joy i don't know why i never thought of that um but but yeah that's that's a great idea um and this one also is from 83 uh, a product of Lucasfilm and Kenner Books. Um, so these are resealable, guys, so don't worry about that. I'm just being very careful with them at the moment. So again, as you can see, uh, the condition is absolutely phenomenal uh, for a 36-year-old book. But the, the discolorization of the paper uh, just makes it all special to me. Uh, it just kind of and the smell that comes from it it just kind of reminds me of of the time you know i would i would 11 10 10 years old sorry and um so as you can imagine the the feeling of nostalgia that i get from looking at this book uh is is incredible so uh i, I cannot thank mary enough uh it was an absolutely wonderful thought uh hiya robin i think she bought them in an auction chase or something similar um but it, it you know it, it obviously it was a a gift from the heart and that's what kind of um what kind of sets it back really and you know it's stuff like this that really make me believe that i'm i'm kind of doing the right thing on the channel for somebody to go to those extremes uh and and you know find out these special books you know the, these can't be bought online anywhere they're not you know you run of the mill gift so i feel so privileged to uh to have those so i wanted to show them you yeah. uh <laughs> Oh, she's here. Look, thank you, Mary. I, I, I um, I cannot thank you enough. And like I say, you open the you open the book, and the the discoloration of the page and the smell is just, you know, it just takes you back, you know. So it's uh, really, really special. So thank you. Um, on eBay for good part. I don't think the ones on eBay are 83, though, Robin. I've seen some replicas on eBay, uh, but these are proper 1983 ones from Kenner. Um, <clears throat> Hello, Susie. Not a problem, Grace. Not a problem. Uh, so that's them, guys. And um, the next thing I want to show you are a wonderful gift and these are um from laura rafferty 
they're not from Laura Rafferty, they're a gift, but these are by Laura Rafferty. <clears throat> and they're both her books that she's currently got. There are there's Circle Portraits, which I'll give you a quick flip through. And there's also Bluebell Woods, uh, which is, uh, they are, if they are any 1983 Star Wars lot, which Vintage Return of the Jedi. Right, okay. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to detract the, the the gift, Robin, from uh, from Mary. You know, uh, the, these were a wonderful thought, and and you know, they are original. So, uh, regardless if you can buy them on eBay or not, it's still a good gift. Uh, so the first one is uh, Bluebell Woods, um, and Laura's uh, put a really nice message in the uh, in the book saying to Dev. Great channel. Can't wait to see what you do with these pages. Hugs, Laura. And then, of course, it's signed up here. Uh, and this is book 113 out of 160. Um, so, yeah, really, really great uh, gift. What Laura has also said is when, when I decide that we're going to feature uh, some Laura Rafferty work, in the um on the channel uh she's going to come and join us she's going to come and join the stream uh and she's going to chat along with you guys and, and ask any questions uh, about the books and what she's got coming out she's working on the third book at the moment uh which is exciting um so uh yeah so when we decide to do a feature for laura i have linked her etsy store in the description um, so people can obviously buy these books from that link. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really kind of a, she's going to join us on stream and, uh, start talking to everybody and answer some, uh, answer some questions or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, that's great. Uh, it's really, really good, uh, paper. And, um, as you can see on here, the images are beautiful and there's so many in this book. I'm not sure how many there is in this one, but this so so original and obviously hand drawn. Um, what does it say in here? I'm just. This is the first edition artist copy, November 2017, and it's 113 of 160. I don't think it does tell you how many. Oh, hang on. Oh, yours is 96, Nana. Nice one. Hello, Sharon. Yeah, good to see you too. Um, I can't see anything that tells you how many. There's, there's, there's quite a lot in this, if I'm honest with you. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, Laura's going to come and, um, and join us on the stream when we decide to do something. Um, obviously currently at the moment we're in, um, we're in Dandy Morphia, which is, which is Devon Sandy's, um, Kirby Roseanne month, which I'm going to show you shortly on my progress. So that was the first one. And then obviously that's been, uh, seconded up by Circle Portraits, which is, she's also sent me, uh, a free, um, and a little note here. Please accept these free gifts uh, printed on Strathmore toned tan mixed media paper as a thank you. Uh, so you've got this guy on toned tan on both sides. And then you have a, um, I think it's a bookmark. I've got a 10% off coupon uh, and then a bookmark um, of Bridget from the Circle Portraits book. Uh, which is also on torn tan paper, which she didn't have to do, and that's a really, really nice thought. So I'm uh, absolutely overwhelmed with those. So, yeah, really, really cool. Has Becky disappeared? Has she been back on or not? I can't remember. Never mind, I just wanted to thank her for offering that as well. Um, 
Then I received uh, these wonderful uh, Prismacolor um, portrait set. Now, these are currently half price on um, Amazon. They're down from £54 to 25 so they're actually less than half price. Hello, Mary Ann. Um, that was an absolutely so thoughtful gift. And as you can see, uh, they are the portrait set out. I think it's 24 pencils, is it? Uh, see. Yeah, 24. And then you've got the, the light tones at the top tray and then the dark tones on the bottom tray. Um, I'm fine, Mish. I've just got a sore throat, that's all. <laughs> it's uh, I've had it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. So, um, yeah, these are half price. I have, I have put a link uh, in the description. Um, Good morning, Donna. How are you? Still cleaning your room? All right. That's not a problem. So, uh, of course, you've got this uh, portrait set. It's down from £55 to £25. Uh, so if you want to get some, click on the link. And then I was also gifted these, which are the... Everybody's been buying them at the moment. Uh, the Tritones, which are the um, the Koinor Tritone Hardmuth. Uh, I was only talking to Sean about these the other week, um, and lo and behold, they appear. Uh, I've not used them yet, so I cannot comment on on what they're like to use. Um, they look very interesting. Uh, they don't look as though they're going to be uh, straightforward to use. Um, they look very... Um, I, th I would imagine that there's a technique to them. Uh, I have seen Christine use them, uh, and her work was uh, really, really good that she'd put out with it. Uh, I'd like to test them in different ways to, to obviously try and ascertain what best style fits me. Oh, thank you, Sharon. That's so kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Sharon. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, guys. Um, sorry about that. Uh, so it's it's um, it's going to be trial and error with me with these. Uh, I have not uh, kind of um, thought about how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to swatch them out first, and I think that would help. Um, uh, just bear with me. Uh, I think that would help. That's just April Sarah confirming that we've got the double slot, guys. So. Um, I think it would help to swatch first to see what capabilities they have, and then we could kind of move on from there. Uh, looking at the lid, there are 23 pencils and one blender pencil, which I think is this one on the end. Uh, so, like I said, it'd be interesting to uh, to give them a play and see. I don't know, Robin. I've just got a message from her, that's all, love. Uh, just saying that, you know, uh, she's going to update the... Uh, you know the itinerary thing that she does so got that and then I don't know if Zoe Arch is watching but she will love these um, I bought myself at Christmas the 50 Stabilo which I've got up up in the cupboard the fine liner pens because they they are kind of the best ones that I've come across as a fine liner um, and then I was talking the other day about felt tips. These are a millimetre uh, nib. Millimeter, I think they're one mil, that's right. Um, the water-based ink, and these are fantastic. If, if you like the colour by numbers, and uh, we've got a hot one there, I think. Oh, that, have you used these, have you, Robin? Uh, like I said, I've, got, I've used the fine liners, uh, and I think they're probably one of the best fine liners I've used. I think they're better than the the Stadler one, the Stadler ones. Um, but these, um, if if you like the colour by art and sorry, the colour by numbers and that kind of thing, these are perfect because they come in the same style as the fine liner in two lots of twenty five, like this. 
And these are also half price at the moment, guys. Um, I think they're supposed to be in the region of 70 quid and they're down to 30 odd. Now, you've got five illuminants, uh, illuminants, um, high vis, that's the, oh, I can't think of the name at the moment, um, on the right hand side here. Uh, but the rest of the colors, there's a lovely array of yellows into orange, red, pink, purples, blues, and greens. And then you've got your earthy tones and your browns and your skin tones. But what is interesting, let me just uh, get the pad out for you guys. What is interesting about these is that the water ink. So, of course, you can, um, you can develop. Oh, thank you, Gary. Thank you so much, my friend. That and it and it will be put straight to the channel. Uh, thank you so so much, mate. I really appreciate that. Cheers, Gary, mate. Thank you. So, I'll just take the purple out for you guys, and I put the pad in the middle. Um. <laughs> Hello, Sean. I'm not so sure that I'm your babes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear you do make me laugh though mate uh welcome buddy hope you're okay i was just i was um i just mentioned you a short while ago uh when we were talking about the um the the tritones and uh obviously i've had them gifted since then it's really weird how you talk about something and uh dev i want to oh uh, a room's up too. Oh. <laughs> Excellent, uh, Shad. The thumbs up. I gave you one. Honestly, I did. If you look back, I gave you one. So thank you. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, but they're... they're um... So this, this nib I was just talking about. Sorry, I got a bit way laid there. That is... Uh, it's like a millimetre nib. But they are watering, so let me just show you the, um, I'll just put, look how vibrant they are, guys. So, of course, if you are, um, if you are doing like the poster art or the colour by numbers or anything of that ilk where you want something to, um, oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you so, so much. That's really kind of you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Lise. Hey. So, uh, oh, this is uh, overwhelming. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, so you've got this lovely saturation uh, that comes from the pen. And um, with it being water, you'll be able to move it around. I've not tried moving it around. But I would imagine, um, oh, that's good to know, Morticia. Thank you. Thanks, Gary, mate. Appreciate your comment. Um, so, yeah, um, these are a fabulous uh, set. Uh, and like I said, they're on half price at the moment. And that's no disrespect to the person who's bought them. I mean, you know, it's, it's the way it is. But um, when there's such a bargain like that for 50 pence, then you know you've got yourself uh, a bargain. The tins are sturdy. Um, so overwhelmed with that, uh, thank you very, very much. They are beautiful colours. Uh, what's that number, sorry? 35, 36 likes and 85 in the house. Uh, I've got it at 43 at the moment. It doesn't matter. Um, what was said about the churches? Now, I was just telling you the other night when we were talking about supplies that I was thinking of getting them, and then lo and behold, um, I've had them gifted, mate. That's all I was saying. Uh, hello, DD. Yeah, I've got 47, Nana. So uh, just keep giving me thumbs up, guys. That'll be uh, appreciated. I don't like asking. I know the mods usually do it, and Kim T's. Uh, uh, a big in for that. So, um, yeah, I just said that, Sean, as well. I saw I saw that she'd used them. But I weren't sure, mate, um, how to go about using them because I've not 
I've not ever used them myself. Um, so what I um, what I intend to do is give them a bit of a swatch and just see the capability of them, and then uh, yeah, I would imagine so. Looking at the leads, buddy, yeah, rotate them, yeah. So there. Uh, the next thing um, is two books by Chet Minton. Uh, now. It says it on this one. It doesn't say it on that one for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I think it does inside. Yeah, it does. But uh, Chet Minton, uh, I, I know I am, man, and uh, people uh, don't like that. People do like it and people don't like it, so that's up to them, isn't it? Thank you, Kim. So Chet Minton... Uh, is another one uh, in a in a similar ilk to uh, Smitheringale, who I showed you earlier. Um, not an artist you hear. Hello, Louise. It's not an artist. Hello, Kenny, darling. It's not an artist you hear a lot of. Uh, but this is Long Hair Studios, and um, it's lovely paper actually, even though it's create space. It's got a different feel to this. No, I, I don't want them here, Sharon. Uh, they're not welcome here. So let me just look at the artwork in here. So you've got all this kind of, it, obviously with the amount of black ink that's on this image, it's difficult to determine. Uh, absolutely pickle. I, I couldn't think of a better way to describe it, yeah. I've, I'm the same since my first video, so um, I don't try to be any other um, streamers, you know, I don't copy off anybody else, like some I can mention. It's very much like Paul Kirby, Terry Patrick style. Yes, I agree, Sean. Um, it looks intricate, but the heavy line work would make it easy with a pencil. Um, I really do like this one with the the kind of warrior here uh, with the bow and arrow and the beast in the background. So you've got a, an array of um, different types of images on here that, that you would, you know, you would automatically put in the fantasy bracket. Um, but again, down to the artist's interpretation and imagination on how they, um, on how they, you know, put, put pen to paper, really. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Thanks, Mish. Yeah, so uh, it's got a dragon in it as well, uh, which Christine will like, of course. Um, we've also, hello there, Charlotte. Um, just checking, Charlotte, um, did you get those pencils I sent you, the... Um, um, what are they called now? The pastels, the, you know, my head today. What are they called now? Um, what are the pastel pencils called, guys? The ones by, um, that I was using. No, not the Stabilo ones. You know the ones, Cabothello. Yeah, they asked to be low. Sorry, uh, Sean, Cabothello, yeah. Uh, I had a spare set, so I sent them to Charlotte. I'm just hoping that she's got them. You do it, Morticia. You all right? Oh, did you? I've not, I've not, I've, I've been so busy, Charlotte. I've not caught up with anything. You're more than welcome. Have you used them yet? All oh, right, okay. So as you can see, guys, these um, images just go on and on. The imagination runs, uh, and Chet Minton, obviously. This is a really uh, fetching one. It's got quite scary eyes, as you can see. Uh, and a lot can be done uh, if you 
kind of opaque, uh, a creamy blue into that and make him look really frightening. Um, yeah, I'm the same, uh, Charlotte. I've not tried any of my stuff either. So that's one book by him. That's Monsters, Magic and Myth. So I've just, I've put that in the description just as Monsters and then the other one just as Dark Forest. So the Dark Forest one is even better, in my opinion, than the Monsters one. I really like this kind of uh, stuff, as you probably were aware by stuff I've coloured in the past. Um, you know, little trolls and uh, imps and that kind of thing. Uh, they're really, really good. Uh, and I quite, you know, quite really fancy getting stuck into this. You've got like leprechauns and that kind of thing. So yeah, it's it's a it's a one hundred percent of this book. Uh, really, really like it, and um, I would imagine that some excellent images could be made with this book. So those are two from Chet Minton. Uh, the next one is the official Chronicles of Narnia book. This was a single gift by somebody that I've already mentioned. Um, by C.S. Lewis. <coughs> the original illustrations are by Pauline Baines. Thank you, Gary. I really appreciate that. I, I really do. And I'll tell you what as well, Gary, the people who, who are starting trouble with me and have done in the past few weeks, they've been gifted as well. And they turn around and turn on you just like that. So... Uh, it's just amazing how people have short memories, really. Um, but never mind, uh, karma is excellent, and I'm a firm believer in it. So, um, this one, guys, is is very. Uh, can I use like uh, Treasure Island kind of uh, vibe to it? it? What I mean by that is it's. It, you know, it's very vintage looking and has some really nice images in it. Uh, but there's a story that runs alongside. The paper's really good. I wouldn't recommend uh, markers. Uh, but this is something different. It reminds me of, uh, of something that um, Kincaid would do. I wish I could say, Mish, but I can't. Uh, it's just unbelievable. It really is. Um, so, um, you get this vibe in this book that you, you know, you, you get like old maps orienteering. Uh, you've got this vintage kind of history vibe to it. Um, but it's something different. I mean, when I mentioned maps, then, uh, it, it's a colorable map. Uh, there's all sorts you could do to this to make it antique. Um, it is, mate, it is. I've had more than a few, Zoe, uh, at the moment. It's just, anyway, let's let's not give them the, uh, they don't deserve any of my airspace. So, um, who is it, that, who is it that's really good uh, with the inks, uh, the distress inks? Is it Karen? I think it's Karen, isn't it? Can you imagine Karen doing this double page spread uh, on here? Yeah, it does. It does look like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, it is Karen, isn't it? Can you imagine what she would do with this book? Uh, she, you know, in some of the images in this book, she would make as though it had, you know, been dug up from last century, wouldn't she? Uh, she's that good a, a, an artist um, at some of the stuff that she does, especially that map. Um, you know, I would imagine that uh, that would turn out great. So I'm really happy, and thank you very much again for a lovely gift. I'm not, I'm not doing, uh, Sharon. 
It's not in the description, uh, Brenda. It's in my About You page on the channel. Zucchini Kitty, that's the one. My memory is terrible today. It just shows you how tired I've been. <clears throat> okay. Um, the next one uh, was in the bundle with the other uh, books that I showed right at the beginning. Hello, little Mai. Hello, son. How are you, darling? She's here. Yes, Shannon. How are you doing, my gorgeous? Um, I said earlier on, I just wanted to thank yourself, uh, Nana Moore, and some other special friends, and Mary, um, and Tony, for, um, for being such a good friend lately. Um, so you missed the shout out, but it will be there if you want to, uh, look back, Shannon. So this is the Farmer's Market book, uh, uh, so look. Oh, you failed to do a workout this morning. You're not the only one. <laughs> I don't think many do on a Sunday, do they? Uh, I saw this uh, somewhere. I can't remember where I saw it. It's got some uh, really unique colouring images for uh, yeah, they've woke up Mortish. <laughs> so yeah, it's different because it's got you know, it's it's not the unusual run of the mill images on here, um, but it's got plenty of you know interesting stuff to colour. Single sided. Uh, it's by the Colouring Book Cafe, I think. Yep. Uh, and it seems though you've got all these uh, fruits, veggies, all good for practice. If you hello, Mousy Deb. It's really cute, isn't it? Uh, I've not seen anything like it really before. Uh, I think Creative Haven's got a similar one. I'm not sure what the title of that is. Um, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to have another cup of in a minute, uh, Grace. I've just extended it, Shannon. Um, uh, I was thinking the other day, the only real um, commitment I can make as far as days are concerned are a Sunday. And um, because I never know where I'm working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, I've emailed um, April and I've kind of got the three till seven slot now so that I'm not rushed. No, it's it's three till seven GMT, Morticia. Yeah, that's it, love. You've got it. That's true. That's true, Sean. Very true. Uh, so this is from Nanamore. And then we've got three more books and we've done. So Nana Mo uh, found this in a charity shop. Um, this is really in tune with what we've been talking about with the comic art. Um, now, this is Shadows of the Empire Evolution. Oh, is Becky back now? Uh, what? I don't know what's going on here. And no, anyway, never mind. So, um, Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire Evolution. This is um, before before Disney. Um, hi, Becky. I've been shouting. <laughs> Did you pop off? Hope you're okay, love. Uh, thanks for coming back, and thanks for being a mod as well. Um. So before they decided to do the trilogy that followed on from the original trilogy, the, the following trilogy was the prequels. Before they decided to do any of that, they made the story up and released several magazines 
uh, and comics of the storyline uh, in which way it went. So what they did was they they thought, right, we'll go this direction with Star Wars now because obviously it left it on a cliffhanger, the movie, and um, it, it kind of developed from there. So you've got the same characters in here as you would have in Return of the Jedi. Uh, you've obviously got um, Squid Face there, um, Princess Leia. Uh, you've got R5-D4 up here. Um, you've got Greedo. And you've just got all the uh, Greedos here again, look. So you've got all the original characters from the the first uh, trilogy, and then it's it's been moved on to this one. And then obviously this one has now been overtaken by the actual movies. So it will differ in storyline. Um, th that's so right, Anne. That's so true. So, yeah, it will differ in storyline. Um, but these are somewhat of a collector's item. Um, if you want to go searching for this one, Robin, you can do. But again, this is a, a, an original uh, 19... Let's have a look. 1986. So that pretty much ties in with what I've said. Uh, 83 was Return of the Jedi. Then they stopped. And before they decided to do the prequels, they made a couple of stories up, which one of them is this one. Oh, not a problem, Nick and Tina. Thanks for joining. Thanks very much. So, yeah, uh, Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire. There is another one, uh, which I'm just going to show you now, uh, what none I've all got. And this is uh, The Authority. The transfer of power, uh, another uh, absolutely fabulous comic art. Um, this is not Star Wars, of course, um, but this is based on the film uh, Logan's Run, I do believe. And you've got a similar concept here of what you would have. Hello, Linda. Uh, you've got a similar concept here uh, of what you would have. Uh, in the Star Wars ones, because obviously they had nowhere to go with the movie. Um, so comic book illustrators and writers decided to uh, to carry the franchise on or carry the story on, uh, and then the, the rights were sold, etc., etc. Um, so as you can appreciate, this is another uh, really, really cool um, thing to buy. It's not available anymore, so I really, really appreciate uh, Shannon, all I've done is I'm just, I, my, my regular time is five till seven and I've just added two hours on at the beginning of the stream. Um, and that's just predominantly so that if I can't make the Tuesday for working for any reason, um, then because nobody was using it and Naya, uh, has left doing a Sunday, uh, that allows me to have that two hours uh, so that I can obviously start earlier if necessary. So, yeah, excellent. Dev form. <laughs> Love it. Not a problem, Shannon. So... Um, I've got three left to show, guys. But before I, I'm going to do that, I'm going to uh, pick the image of the week winner. Drum roll, please. No, I'll just get the uh, book first of all. <clears throat> so this week's uh, book, uh, free gift. Uh, is the Cabin Life Colouring Book uh, by Colouring Book Cafe. Um, again, uh, a, a brand new book. Very interesting designs inside. Um, I'm not sure it's everybody's cup of tea. So when I announce the winner, who's in the stream at the moment, 
Uh, don't be afraid to say, I would like a different book, uh, because if that's the case, um, then I'm more than happy to change it. But let me get my iPad and I'll show you the winner from uh, this a week. <laughs> do, do, do. Get off, get off. Bear with me, guys. So this week's winner is Miss Shannon Lefevre, who um, did this wonderful image um, using, I believe, uh, pastel, uh, using a Posca pen and Cali Art markers and the Carbothellos. So that's this week's winner um yes seriously shannon i'm not being um at all uh biased because of the friendship it's the it's the best one this week um uh, but of course if you don't want cabin life um which i realized afterwards because that had already picked this one out as the prize uh i'm more than happy to change it for you um uh, last week's winner was coloring cars and i know that she's happy with the book that i sent her yesterday um but you are more than welcome to change that and uh, if you want to let me know of a different book then i'm more than happy to do that um uh, and i know that you're shocked but it's it's the truth you're you were very close the week before and of course um uh dev you can have I can't, I can't do them, mate. I can't do them, Sean. This is, I think you weren't here, so I do apologise. Because of my job, I have to work really funny hours. And what I don't want to do is be the um, be the subject of complaints because I can't make a stream or I can't get to such and such on time. So I've got the Tuesday night slot for when I'm available. Um, but like i said at the beginning because i can you know in my heart of hearts i know that i can commit a sunday um, i've just added two hours on the beginning rather than at the end of course the end has been taken anyway by christine so what i wanted to do was make sure that i've got the full two hours plus extra on the sunday then if i can't stream on the tuesday i have plenty of time to catch up with you all on the sunday um if there are any nights through the week and I have got a spare couple of hours, I will look at the rotor. And if there's nobody, you know, if there's nobody streaming, then I'll just, I'll go on. But I'm not going to start, obviously, uh, doing it over the top of other people. Um, so, oh, thanks, Katie. Are you going, are you, Robin? Uh, thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks so much for uh, your vast knowledge, uh, Robin. Okay, guys, the final uh, thing I was gifted uh, by Rosamond, these one, I know these three are, are the three books by Bennett Klein, which I've put in the description. Um, I'm not going to do massive flip-throughs. Everybody's seen Bennett Klein before. Um I used to have uh, quite a lot of Bennett Klein books uh, and a few of them went missing. I'm not sure with it, whether it was with uh, me moving or whether it was, you're more than welcome, Shannon. It was a deserved winner. And like I said, there was nothing in it the week before. Um, so rather than what I wanted to do, if I'm honest with you, what I wanted to do was announce two winners last week. But then that sort of detracts. Uh, the joy that Kaz got. Um, so rather than, you know, dilute the winning thing of being the individual, um, I've, I've done it for you for this week. So um, that's the way I've done it. Uh, okay, guys. So 
these these three uh, from Rosamond are the Colour My Sketchbook Mythic, the Dragons book, and the Steam book. Now, the Steam is the Mech and, and Cybrids uh, book, um, which I'll, I'll just show a few images, guys. Um, we all know Bennett Klein, and uh, I mean, wow. How good is Bennett? We know it's grayscale, but we also know that the final result of what you do with Bennett Klein comes out absolutely stunning. Uh, and it enables somebody who's not an experienced colorist, in my opinion, to produce uh, a really good piece of work. And he's following me around, this guy. The green man's back again. I even found him in Kirby the other day. Um, the drawing board DD was from Amazon. But uh, I believe you can buy them now in, um, are you from the UK, DD? Are you from uh, the US or Canada? So anyway, sorry, I, I, I digress a little bit, but the green man's turned up again. I found him in Kirby books the other day. He's following me around. Um <laughs> The works, that's the one, uh, Pickle, yes. I remember somebody saying it. The great art, the mish. So um, this enables uh, an inexperienced colorist to produce an absolutely fantastic piece of work by just playing coloring with markers. Uh, and it gives them a bit of confidence, I think, as well. The very fact that, you know, if you've got a decent marker, um with it doesn't streak a lot you know you can go through that image and you, your end result's going to look really good because of the gray scale um but this is this is a really nice one um it almost looks um kind of from a tv series or things like that the first image is called kid crow uh, it's kind of spooky isn't it um but really cool at the same time you got this leather featured jacket here, then you got the Paisley vest or waistcoat, should I say? Uh, and then you've got all this uh, this tech and um, steampunk stuff. Um, so that one's another good one as well. So of course we know what this is now. Is that the Green Man again? I think it is. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> He's proper watching me. Uh, so that's the uh, Bennett Klein Steam book. Hello, Robin. Oh, that's nice, Kenny. You'll have to show it us and tag me on uh, Instagram. Uh, the next one is the mythic one. Uh, of course, this involves a lot of creatures. I think that's a Doberman dog. Um, looks very evil. Something you wouldn't mess with. Uh, and then you've got this hybrid of wolves here. Uh, all in all, just a magnificent imagination from this guy. Uh, the Cyclops kind of dude here. Yeah, that unicorn as well. Um, so you've got, I mean, that's pure evil. If I ever saw it, that's... I would imagine that's an interpretation of Hades or the devil himself, one of the two. Hello, Kitsune. Yeah, the lovely are they, Gary? Uh, so that is the... I just, I just saw something on the... Oh, uh, the tree goblin, that was called. And then the final one is dragons. Um, lovely, lovely book. You've got dragons, uh, you've got griffins in here as well, I think. Um, so, yeah, absolutely wonderful gift. So thank you, Rosamond, for those. Uh, and that's it, guys. That's my, um, that's my haul. Uh, I have linked most of the stuff in the description. Um, yeah, I agree, Pickle. Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to giving them a go. Um, and then I just want to update you with uh, completed pages. I'm deciding on a background for this. 
that's the one we did in the the red cap is is now finished um i'm not really sure whether to, i mean the path is done um i'm just not sure whether to use the clouds or not um i'm undecided i'm looking forward to it charlotte actually um oh that's cool kit soon thank you uh shannon so yeah i'm not really sure on um whether to i don't want to spoil it uh but yeah it would look good the galaxy oh you got the book didn't you Anne? yeah it's a nice book isn't it i mean the rest of the images are beautiful in here i really love this book yeah i agree pickle it would look good okay bye for now then jude and then part of um dandy morphia i changed my mind about 15 times on what to start so i eventually went for the poster book and i've gone for the mechanical butterfly and i've just put the reds in at the moment uh, I, I don't even think i finished the reds actually there's a couple more down here but my idea with this one is to do red and gold in in the um in the image um and then what i'm wanting to do is do a three-tiered background from navy blue to about here mid blue to about there and then really pale light blue to the top um oh thank you Anne. so that's what i want in the background so because of what i wanted in the background from midnight blue to sky blue at the top I was very aware of what could go in the middle. So the reds and the golds are fine. I might need a third colour. I am not sure yet. So yeah, it's one of those, it's one of those where I think things will develop um, as we get further down the the image completion. But once I've put my reds and golds in here, um, I might do the background then, and then that would leave the just the one colour maybe that would be left, and then obviously it, it could be something that I uh, decide then once the background's in. Thank you, Zentral. Uh, it is a nice page uh obviously they're slightly bigger than the book but um i know that uh sandy's already got episode five out and it's only uh what is it today the 7th of um yeah 7th isn't it of april she's already got five episodes on so um there's no way i can do that many episodes um so what i'm trying to do is obviously get just one big one done uh throughout the month so uh on that guys there is one more thing i want to show you uh which i forgot about i haven't put it in the description either but i will put you a link up if you want me to i was enabled by zoe archer for these uh they are the multicultural uh criolla washable markers uh they're really really cheap um they're very inexpensive and when you open them up i have actually tried one of them and it was uh, a lot easier than i thought because the tips are really broad uh, so you've got there's no color names on them i don't think no there is i do apologize so we have uh, mahogany we have tan bronze golden beige terracotta tawny sienna and beige so they're all skin tones yeah i don't mind them i i um like i said I, i'll just show you really quickly actually because it's better than describing it isn't it so the i used i think it was this one um 
as you can see, the, the, the nib is broad, but it's got a fine tip on it. So it's how you use it, really. Um, so I kind of use it at a slant. So as you can see, it's beautiful color. Um, and that's the that's the beige one. And then if you use the bronze one next to it, you'll see the contrast. And then we have, yes, I think you can, Loretta, you're right, because um, they do advertise them as being ultra clean and washable. So I would imagine that you bang on there. Um, this is the mahogany. This will probably be the darkest one of the set. Uh, this is the Sienna. They're very juicy as well. Uh, this is the Tawny. That's a lovely shade of like a browny green. Um, terracotta. I don't think they do, uh, Sharon, for the multicultural skin tone ones, but I think you can still buy uh, a larger marker set of the washables. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, this is the terracotta one. And that's a, also a really nice tone. And then golden beige. I think if you use them at a distance like that, light-handedly, I think it prevents a lot of streaks. Um, and then the final one is tan. So you've got a pretty uh, nice array of colours here. Uh, I shall check for you to bleed through. Um, very limited. Um, not massive, but it does bleed. Uh, they are nice colours, and for a very uh, inexpensive set, uh, there's eight markers in here, and I think they were five pounds, or it may, may have even been four pounds. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're really nice colours, though, and for, for such a cheap set, you know, you can't really go wrong, I don't think. But those uh, were enabled uh, by um, Zoe Archer, who um, who um, showed them not long ago, um, and they came up on my Amazon. I'm sure they were four pounds something. Thanks, pickle. So before we get colouring, guys, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I am now going to find the appropriate sign that Becky made me. Hello, Laurie. Gonna get a copper. Two sugars, gas, not a problem. Okay. I shan't be long, guys.
I'm back, guys. Nice uh, cup of tea. Hope you're all okay. So let's get cracking. Hello, April. Hope you're well. Okay, guys, I'm using uh, Prismacolor pencils for those who asked uh, last time. Um, and the the red blends are using the Rosy Pale, uh, the Pink Rose, and the Raspberry, uh, which is just broken on me. As Prismacolors do. The one thing that pees me off about Prismacolor. So, um, I need to put that down there. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Becky. Okay, so we've got a couple, there's a couple more of these to do. Uh, there's one on here. So. So it will be a time-consuming uh, image to do this one uh, once we've finished it at the end. Thank you, Kim. <clears throat> uh, I'm drinking uh, Yorkshire tea, Sharon. Good day to you, Susan, uh, from the heart of Indiana. Uh, that's great of you to join us. Thank you very much. Hello, B. So great of you to come along. And then we have, uh, what I've tried to do is all the boxes, they, they look like fuse, uh, kind of cylindrical fuse boxes that's throughout this mechanical butterfly. Uh, I've tried to do all those in red. Uh, what I don't want to do is miss one. I've just found one there on that side. And there's one here. And there's also one here. Uh, and then I'm going to start and try and come up with uh, a blend for the gold. The the pencils I've picked out prior to doing it uh, are the um, the yellow ochre, the actual metallic gold uh, from 
Prismacolor, and then the um, the Canary Yellow. So I'm hoping we can get some nice uh, kind of blend with those three. It's the beautiful tea. It is very strong, yeah. But I, I like I like strong tea. Uh, there's no point having it if it's not strong. We don't want dishwater. So that were a fantastic uh, bargain on the on the point six eight Stabilo felt tips. Um, you know, when you when you consider that they're usually about seventy quid for the fifty, which makes them about one pound whatever per per pen, uh, and down to thirty, so it's you know it's much less than a quid a pen. Uh, a pen. I think it's. Um, something that's been well thought out from a sales point of view um so very very happy and very lucky to have received those they are uh grace um they're very intricate um but they're very enjoyable in so much that you you know you could submerge yourself in 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 this kind of drawing and uh, you know just take it all in and enjoy it which is what i uh, intend on doing with this so and these two colors uh, really go well together for the for the light and dark shades uh and the blend um i didn't pick it up anywhere i just uh tried a few out on paper and of course the one that I look I thought looked the best is the one I've gone with um, <clears throat> you have a stomach operation on. Oh, that's that's rotten. Oh, you just got the Stadler seventy two count of your DD. Oh, that's cool. That's the same with me, Kenny, uh, taking one item at a time. The, the, I mean, when you first open this page, because these are A3 books, and you think, wow, it's a lot to do. So I've kind of separated it up. And now I've done all, nearly done all the reds. You know, you can see a little bit of progress, can't you? You can, you can say to yourself, oh, it's coming on, it's coming on kind of thing. And... Um, Okay, friends, what is a penguin? It's a biscuit. It's a chocolate biscuit that you have with a cup of tea. Um, chocolate on the outside, biscuit on the inside. Uh, quite nice. They're not my cup of tea, but they're, they're all right. Where are we going now? Let's have a look. Now let's go to this box here. There's one here, look, that we didn't notice. Hi, Naya. Naya, sorry.
<clears throat> Another one here, hidden. Right down below. Thank you, Nana. I I, uh, I really appreciate that. Nice to know. Oh, thanks, Shannon. Neighbour was here, heard Dev, and wanted to see what he looks like. She's 84, by the way. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> oh, thank you, Nana. That's nice of you to say. I did spot one on this side. Oh, it's here. Look. So we'll do the insert quite dark so that goes in inward and then i think what we'll do with this one is just give it give it some shade on both sides uh, because the one behind it is also the same. So just to make it easier on the eye, I'm not sure if that um, would scientifically be correct, but who cares? Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> Thank you, Anne. <laughs> oh, dear. Just blend that together a little bit more. <clears throat> I can only just see the one left now, guys. I think. Um, by all means, if anybody does spot one, then please, uh, you know, let me know. Um, but I can only see these small, really small ones at the moment. That's true, Susan. Uh, Donna Branch. She's been hidden. What's she been saying? What's Donna Branch been saying? Oh, she was preaching, was she? All right, okay. Not for this stream, no. Uh, she's uh, obviously a little bit special, isn't she, Branch? <laughs> but I'm <-dum> dumb. <laughs> Just bear with me a minute, guys, because uh, I've got an important message I need to read. Sorry about this. But it's a work related.
on the right side did I sum um, you tell me where I'll just carry on with these um, I can't quite see it at the moment uh, but by all means I'm more than happy to uh, Oh, <laughs> thanks, son. <laughs> so, I think, not 100%, but I think that's it for the Reds. I'm not going to uh, put them away just in case, of course. But we're just getting that. Okay. So the the gold that I'm wanting is for these kind of uh, sharpie kind of uh, almost what you would like call uh, an axe head or an old tin opener as the were in this country years ago or that used to open a tin of prunes or peaches with that kind of thing here so i'm just going to get my pad out hello christine oh nice one ashley you'll have to let us know how you're getting on with it um so I've got, oh, I think I mentioned it to you, didn't I? I've got these three colours. So what I want to do first is go from light to dark and just see what we can come up with. Uh, so this is the gold metallic, uh, first of all. So if we lay that down, not a heavy um, layer but enough to get some pigment down and then follow that up with the mid-tone which is the yellow ochre Let's see what we get from that and then follow that up with the canary yellow is it Yep. So the canary yellow and the gold look good. The canary yellow and the gold and the yellow ochre is probably the best one, I would say. So from that, <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing three till seven now, Christine. So we'll start with this one because it's not, um, let's have a, let me think now. Okay. I'll put a layer of the canary down first. And then I'll do my dark bits with the gold. So that's a dark bit here and here. 
and then the shade here. And then I'll put the yellow ochre just in the mid bits. I think that comes together pretty well. So keep your mid bits here. And then keep the outside canary. Canary yellow. There we go. So we still get the two-tone effect of gold or goldish. I'm happy with that contrast, guys, but should I tone the the first the the lighter yellow down, do you think? No, I wouldn't have done that, Christine. Oh, thank you, the blood. Mm. That's very kind of you, blood. Thank you. <clears throat> Might just have to dull it off a little bit back with the gold, I think. Yeah, I'm happy now. I am changed time. I've just added some on, uh, Shannon. So all it means is I'll start a little bit earlier and it and obviously um, people can catch it the first half of the show or the second half of the show or they can stay for the whole lot then okay guys so we'll move on to the this one.
<clears throat> yeah, it's permanent. One second, guys. Um, my, somebody's coming for my car in the morning to take it for a service. So I'm just um, responding to that. If you just bear with me, I'm sorry about this. Sorry about this, guys. <clears throat> Very deep in my blood. Clank. Christine, all I'm doing is coming on two hours earlier. So whatever, whatever time I come on, I come on at 5, 5 p.m. as a rule, GMT. So whatever time that is in your, um, no, four hours it is, not five. It's just two hours earlier than before, that's it. Added on to the existing two hours. Can't find my little tombow rube. It's better. Yeah, no problem, uh, Kenny. <clears throat> oh man
Yeah. You stream at 2 p.m. EST, Christine, which is 7 p.m. GMT. So I now stream at, instead of the 5 till the 7, it's 3 till 7. Yep, yeah, that's right, Wendy. So 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. EST. That's the one, Wendy. <laughs> it's it's difficult it's uh gets confusing i think <laughs> so it's like wow man what you talk about worse <laughs> yeah i used to i used thank you nana i used to really really like that program um but all the box sets i've seen are in uh region one which i think is the us um otherwise i'd uh, i'd be very interested in getting them uh it really does remind me of my childhood as that different strokes there's mr drummond wasn't there and then um Then, of course, there was the lady that played the housekeeper uh, and Willis and Arnold, which were, it was fab. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, really, really good. <clears throat> Somebody called Tar Molester. What the heck? What is up with people? Hi, Dee Dee. Nice of you to join in. I know, right? Calling himself that. I mean, what's that about? Hey, I don't know. Some people.
Hang on, guys. There's somebody at the door. Just bear with me, please. Sorry about that, guys. Hi, Mark. Hope you're well, mate. Hope you're well, too, DD. They do. Serious issues. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Becky. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, um, I was just saying, I don't know if you were here in the stream before, I, 
I, what I want the background to be, I want like a midnight blue a third of the way up, uh, and then a mid blue, and then the last third a sky blue. So what I didn't want to do was do anything in the middle that would detract from that because I think that, that that would look really nice. Um, so I'm just sticking with the red and gold. Uh, and then when whatever pieces are left, I'm just going to have to do the background and then work it out what I could, uh, you know, what I could put in. Oh, thanks, Mary. Thanks, Kenny. Bye, T Mac. <clears throat> so I'm going to this one. Do one on edge to make it look a bit different. That's my car sorted, guys. Nine o'clock. So they'll bring me a courtesy car in the morning. Bye, Grace. Uh, they'll bring me a courtesy car in the morning. Uh, hopefully they won't bring me a, a little car where I can't get my legs in it. Uh, and they'll be taking mine away for the service. And, of course, uh, they'll probably bring it back then, probably within about, 72 hours i would have thought i think it's something like that that they promise as a as like a slogan i think it's 72 hours uh that's including collection and delivery for the car and the mot and the service so it's not too bad well last time none of the the, the i spoke to them on the phone uh, and of course, they could only just hear my voice, so th there was nothing, uh, you know, nothing explanatory in my voice. But I, th I forgot to mention it, and they didn't ask me, and they turned up with a Ford Fiesta. Now, even with the, even with the seat, um, yeah, it's part of company, uh, Christine. Um, now, even with the seat all the way back, I still could I still couldn't get in it and without my knees touching the steering wheel. <laughs> so <laughs> so it wasn't the uh, <laughs> it wasn't the best of uh, choices. Uh, but it was only for two days, so I just didn't moan about it. But this time <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit like that scene of Police Academy, Nana. Uh, you know where uh, High tower sits in the car, rips out the front seat, and just sits in back <laughs> and sticks his head out at sunroof. Um, but it this time I've mentioned it, so it's a like for like, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty good service, I must admit. I can't really complain. <clears throat> Hmm. 
So it'd be nice when we, uh, thank you, Kim. It'd be nice when we eventually, um, I am, I'm, I'm six foot four and, uh, and about 18 stone. So yeah, uh, I, I, I need a, a reasonably long car to get my long legs in. Um, but when we decide to do a feature for Laura Rafferty guys, I don't know for the ones who are just coming in, uh, I showed her two books earlier. Uh, she's going to be joining us uh, on the stream. Uh, she's going to come in uh, and answer some questions for you all. Uh, so I thought that was a really nice thing to uh, to do. Um, and I'm sure that you've all got, you know, uh, nice questions that you want to ask her. Yeah, she is pretty much like it, I agree. <clears throat> Four eleven with shoes on. Gosh, that's short. Wow, Christine, you're pretty tall, then, aren't you? I would have never have uh, put you at that height by your picture and your uh, your face and everything. It's weird how you would get um, how you can get an alternative kind of picture in your mind, isn't it? <clears throat> My ex-girlfriend was five foot two. <laughs> so of course, you know, that's quite short-ish. It's not disastrously short, but it's short. That's true, Anne. Six foot eleven. Wow. Six foot eleven. Jeez. I don't think I've ever met anybody that tall. Well, that is tall. Wow. So you you're practically seven foot at that. Uh, yeah. That is. <laughs> wow. That is tall. It really, really is. That's what, that's six inches taller than me. <laughs> Tall for Scotland, Susie, yeah. <laughs> I like it.
Dev getting the grow bag, yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's I'm small compared to that dude, and that's saying something. Yeah, that's what I mean, Christine. Yeah, you're talking seven foot. Um, that's ridiculously tall. You know. I mean, I don't even think they'd get in the car that they gave me last year at, at seven foot. I really don't think they would. Oh, dear. That's, uh, that's some length, is that? <clears throat> They've drawn cuts on themselves, pickle. Future uh, TV makeup artist, get them on casualty. <laughs> get them on casualty. <clears throat> Thank you, Kim. <coughs> All right then, Christine, no problem. So as you can see, guys, slowly but surely, uh, we're getting there. But when you're talking pencil work with Kirby and nothing else, uh, you, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay, thanks, Nick. I'm not so bad at all, mate. How are you? How's Tina? Oh, you're sick. Oh, sorry to hear that. What's uh, what's up with you, mate? You're both sick, or is it just Tina?
Yeah, I hope you both feel better soon, if it's both of you. Dev watching Stand Up to Cancer Bake Off and Chap on. There is Baking the Green Man. Oh, no. Can't get rid of him. Can't get rid of him. Nice one, Gary. That is funny. He's uh, he's around for a while, isn't he? <laughs> he's after us. My gosh. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> he is, he's stalking. He's stalking all of us now, the green man. Uh, I think it's just going to, you know, get to the point where he knocks on my door in a minute. I was saying, hey, up, green man. What's happening here? Like. Just a reminder of the colours I'm using, guys. I'm using, for this blend, uh, canary yellow, uh, yellow ochre, and the gold metallic, all in the Prismacolor Premier range. Oh, I nearly forgot some news. Do you want to hear some news, guys? I um, I was speaking to Nana about it earlier. I actually showed her, actually. Um, I've been approached by my first, uh, my first publisher, guys. Um, and um, they've asked me to, they've asked if I can, if they can send me, um, some Kirby Rose and stuff, um, which I'm really, really proud about. Uh, they said that they've watched uh, previous videos, and um, they want to. Um, they want me to. Well, they want to send me some books, and they want me to do some reviews. Um, I'm absolutely bowled over. Uh, uh, really, really shocking. Really, I couldn't believe it. Um, it is, isn't it, Nana? I showed you email, didn't I? And um, yeah, I was that excited. Uh, I I didn't really know what to, what to do because they never expect all like that, you know. And um, they said that they've watched the previous, uh, the historic ones uh, videos, and they said that they liked my approach on how I um, how I do reviews. So uh, I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, thank you, Nick. Thanks, Susie. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Anne. I'm um, beyond excited, as they say. No doubt that'll encourage more haters, but never mind. I'm not sure what Kirby stuff I'll be doing. I'm hoping it's the new stuff. Thank you, Susan. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I think so as well, Katie. It's, uh... <laughs> Thank you, Be a Bright. Thanks, uh, Mary, darling. Yeah. Uh... I'm quite shocked, actually, because obviously... Uh, I, I've only ever been approached before by, uh, obviously, Albert and things like that. I did actually do a little jig. Uh, well, I, ca I don't call it a jig. It was more of a body pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so it was more of a body pop in the kitchen, um, you know, shacking me stuff down to the groove and thing. 
and then <laughs> and then uh, obviously um, reading it and then having to double take and read it again I won't mention who the publisher is at the moment but uh, for obvious reasons uh, but yeah I'm absolutely beyond myself excited I really am so thank you everybody for the congrats and what have you. Yeah, body pop. <laughs> uh, you know the electric wave pickle from you know like one of these ones. Uh, how's it go now? Hang on. One of them ones through the body. <laughs> So yeah, um, I had me a lecture on it background, of course. <laughs> oh dear. Um... <laughs> oh dear. It was uh, an exciting moment. I'm easily pleased. <laughs> oh gosh. So what's everybody colouring at the moment then? What's everyone on with? What do we know? Just a tip, guys, if anyone uses this combo. Um, oh, is that right, Pamela? Thank you. Um, citizen, how are you doing, darling? <coughs> Can I recommend that everybody watches Citizen? Uh, she's coming to the into the stream and just mentioned Quirkles. Uh, I've been watching her channel for a long time. She had a break, um, but she's really, really informative, and she picks some really nice books. And uh, she's my kind of channel. She's very honest. Uh, there's no pretense. There's no um, you know, false ego or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you do, Ashley. She's great. Uh, and she did mention me last time on uh, the stream that obviously to do with the Quirkle books. Um, so if everybody could, um, oh, you're on Imagimorphia as well, aren't you, Mary? You'd, in fact, you're doing the same image, aren't you? Not a problem, citizen. Um, Yeah, if you can all subscribe, guys, she really is worth watching. Uh, she puts her heart and soul into it. And um, uh, what she does do is she goes through the books quite uh, intensely. Um, you know, it's not just a, an on-screen flick through. She talks about each page uh, and what, what decisions she came to um, when, she, um, when she comes to a decision to to come up with a color palette she she explains the reasons behind that uh, and i think it's i think that's a really good uh point to bring out um because your color choices can depend on your mood of course can't they um so yeah uh she's really worth watching guys and i, I still haven't found out pickle no um i've not found out at all uh actually um I'm just looking at what you're all colouring, guys. Magical Jungle, Animorphia, um, Rooster in Animorphia. Oh, you've got a few subbies uh, coming, uh, cities in now. Um, and Mortish has linked the channel. That's uh, kind of you, Mort. Thank you. Hi, Heather. Yeah, she's really good. And... Um, yeah, she, she's uh, she's proper nice as well. 
so I, I have that's the thing pickle i've seen it i've seen it on i've seen a completed image done on on one of the social networks of john lennon and Quirkle. uh but I, I i don't know which book it's in you would have thought it was the legends book but it transpires that it's not so i'm not sure where where i've seen it Sorry, Heather. Yeah, um, it's nice of you to join. I always like you coming in. So thank you for that. And sorry I missed you first time around. As I was saying, guys, if you do decide, not that I can ever do any tutorials, but if you ever decided to use the same color combo as this, just be careful with the metallic, as you don't need a lot of it. Um, as you've probably seen me rub a bit out earlier. Uh, if you put too much in, um, it doesn't blend as well with the rest of the two colours. Uh, it kind of leaves more of a tarnished brown than a gold. So, just in case, uh, you guys... Not a problem, citizen. I'm I'm just glad that you're able to make it. I I know it. Does it say that, Wendy? Because I've got the book and it's not in. So um, yeah, I'm glad that you've come across, citizen. Uh, I have followed you before I even had a channel actually, and then you took that break, didn't you? Uh, hello, Natalie. Working and lurking, just like a gherkin. All oh, right, that's weird, isn't it, Wendy? Because uh, I've actually got the Legends book and I went through it and I couldn't find it. Uh, it's mainly on a Sunday, citizen. Um, I think you're Europe, aren't you? So it'll be uh, three o'clock GMT, so it'll probably be four o'clock for you. Okay, Nia. Nia, far, wherever you are. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Thanks for joining. Ah, icons. Thank you. I need to look for that book then, don't I? Because the plan was that I was going to do the John Lennon in pastel, spray it and everything, and then put it in a frame. Oh, thank you, citizen. That's nice of you to say thanks. She's also very truthful as well, guys, on the books. If she don't like him, she'll say so, you know, which I think is important when you... You know, when you show a book, which I've done on many occasions myself, it's on Amazon UK, is it? Who's on the front of it, Wendy? It's not, uh, it's not Marilyn Monroe, is it? Because the one I've got's got Marilyn on the front, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, I think she'll get a few uh, followers from that. 
Oh, that's weird. Oh, well. I'll keep looking. <coughs> okay, guys, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Um, you've got about 40 minutes before Christine starts. Gives you a chance to uh, make a brew, um, get yourself a bit of uh, food or whatever. Um, and then I'm up for uh, work early in the morning, and then I have to get back here to change my car. Oh, thank you, Pickle. You're an absolute star diamond. So thank you everybody for uh, attending and uh, thanks for contributing to a lovely stream. I've had a great day again. Um, so it's been really nice to speak to you all. Uh, so I will speak to you all relatively soon. Um, let's have a look what's going on here. Okay, guys, so uh, next in 40 minutes is Christine Aldridge. Um, yeah, brilliant, Susie. Uh, thanks, Heather. Thanks, Pamela. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Joy. Thanks, Rosemary and Anne. And, uh, and Becky, thank you. Thank you, Mary. Thanks for everything you've done. Okay, Wendy, I'll check it out. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the one that we want um, and then get that sorted out. Yeah, thank you, Nanamo, and thank, thanks once again for everything you've done. Uh, thank you, Gary. Thank you, Wendy, for all your help. <clears throat> Oh, that's good to know. Uh, what's the best way to pronounce that? Hencadno. Hencadno? Hencadno. So thank you, everybody, uh, for contributing. It's been a really lovely stream. Um, I've proper enjoyed it, um, sharing everything with you and my good fortune about the, uh, the publisher and... Um, all this happy mail it's been overwhelming and of course thank you very much for all your uh your super chats and everything else yeah we can see you shannon yeah that's what i'm gonna do nana i'm gonna grab a bite and um yeah uh take a bit of a cup of tea and what have you and then hopefully get some work done before I join you at Christine's. So with that, guys, I will see you all later. Thanks for joining. Uh, hopefully we'll see you on Tuesday evening. Um, I can't see uh, the work that I've been given this week. I can't see that being a problem for Tuesday, uh, but certainly Sundays are, are, are guaranteed now. Uh, so thank you very much and thanks Morticia and thank you to Shannon and thank you to Christine and thank you to Becky and thank you to Kim T and all the other people that uh, uh, helped out with uh, modding at short notice and I'll catch you all later. Bye guys.